In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Jesus, we're, we're continuing with volume 17, May 1st, 1925. And Jesus just told Louisa um, how this mission that he has given to Louisa is uh, braided together with the life of Jesus and Mary. And this life of Jesus and Mary, this life of the divine will, has been given to Louisa so that Louisa can give it to humanity. God needed a soul, a human, born of original sin, that would have the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. And that was given to Louisa. So he says, Louisa, to you, Louisa, you are now called the firstborn daughter of my divine will. And it is given to make known the divine qualities, the divine values, the divine goods that the divine will contains. It's eternal sorrow of living unknown hidden in the midst of the human generations. So here Jesus is saying to Louisa, Louisa, what I've given to you, you're now the, you're, you're, your title is the firstborn daughter of my, of my divine will. Even her tombstone says the little daughter of the divine will on her tombstone. He says it was given to make you know the divine qualities, the divine values, the divine goods that the divine will contains and its eternal sorrow of living unknown for 6,000 years, hidden in the midst of human generations, even more despised and offended by the evil ones and placed by the good ones at a level of other virtues, as if it were a little light lit by men. It's a saintly life, a good life, a holy life. No, it's more than that. It's sharing in divinity which the priest says every day at Holy Mass, putting the drop of water into the chalice, may we share in the divinity of Christ. Jesus says this. It's the hidden life in the midst of the human generations. Even more, it's despised. The, the, the divine will is despised, offended by, by evil ones, and placed by good souls at a level of a saintly life, a good life, a holy life. It's a, a little light that's lit by men. A saintly life is is a saintly life of uh, a human uh, done on, in a human way. That, that's, and we look at the saints as, wow, Jesus says, I want you to live a divine life, share in divinity. He says, uh, in comparison, in comparison uh, to the saintly lives, my divine will is, is a, he says, it's, it's an eternal son. He says, he says, a saintly life, a good life, a holy life, the virtues are in comparison with my divine will, not an eternal son that my divine will is. So what the Lord is showing us is he's going to teach us, as St. John Paul II said, at the canonization of St. Honorable de Francia, he says that uh, we're now going to enter a new and divine way of holiness. When you pray the rounds, and this is what Jesus taught Louisa. How He says that you have to learn how to pray the rounds. That's what he wants to teach us. Our Lady says this is a, a prayer that is so powerful. He says, she says, it's, it's a new and more powerful way of praying. It's, it's the prayers of heaven and no longer the prayers of earth. So she says, Jesus, look what Jesus tells us. He says, the mission of my divine will is the greatest that can exist in heaven and on earth. There is no good which uh, does not descend from the divine will. Okay, think about it. The saints taught us how to do the will of God. That, that's why we love the saints, because they learned how to do the will of God. Louisa has learned how to live in the will of God. That's the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. So he says, there's no good which does not descend from the divine will. There is no glory which does not come from the divine will. Everything is centered in the divine will. He says, our, in our this is the triune gods, he's saying, the triune gods, our interior work 
and those which we try and God have delivered to, to humanity in the creation of the animals and of the world and of men and of all virtues, all merits, all predestinations, all goods, all glory of the chosen ones, all the mysteries of infinite love, which are still unknown to humanity and the past and the present and the future, all in one act and in act and in one single point. When you pray your, your prevenient act in the morning, you want to fuse yourself with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What's fusing? Fusing is welding yourself to God. You don't want to ever be separated from God. We fuse ourselves with the triune God. Why? To fuse yourself with Jesus, Mary, and Louisa, the reflection of the Trinity on earth. That's what Jesus says. So the, under the paternity of the Father is the maternity of Mary. Under Jesus, Son of God, is Jesus, Son of Mary. Under the Holy Spirit is Louisa, and the soul is linked to Louisa. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful Catholics. Enkindle us the fire of your love, which is the divine will. Send forth your spirit, and we will be recreated. And then you, Holy Spirit, will renew the face of the earth through us. God's going to do this. So he's saying, he's saying, uh, th this is what he wants. Everything is central, centralized in the divine will. God's interior works, those which the God, our trying God has delivered, creation of the angels, creation of the word, creation of men, creation of the, the virtues, creation of the merits, creation of the predestination of all goods and of all glory of the chosen ones, all the mysteries of the infinite love of God, which are still unknown to mankind the past, the present, the future, all in one act, okay, one act in one single point. So you fuse yourself with the triune God, to fuse yourself with Jesus and Mary and, and Louisa, to fuse yourself in creation and redemption and sanctification. Why? To enter into this gift of the divine will. Why? To return to the prime act of God, the single act of God, the one act of God participating in God. This is, this, this is what uh, St. Peter says in the epistle. He says it very, very clearly. He says, we are, we are called to be divinized. That doesn't mean becoming a, a God, but you participate in God. This is what Jesus tells Louisa. The saints are, are, are like a halo of, of praise and light and glory and honor to God. God is, let, let's say God's the sun. This is a halo around the sun, praising God and loving God and glorifying God and worshiping God. Jesus says to Louisa, that's where the saints are. That's where the angels are. He says, the children of the divine will, he says, I, I want the children now to enter into sanctification, to enter into the sun, into God, and to participate in God. This is the prime act of God. This is the single point of God. This is the act, the one act, the prime act, the one single point of God where he wants us to participate in. That's what he did with Adam. He breathed the rule of God, the breath of God into the dust. Out of the dust came the image and likeness of God. Jesus says, the kingdom of God is within you. Remember, man, that thou art dust, and dust thou shalt return. May your kingdom come on earth, this dust, as it is in heaven. Breathe that rule of God into me. That's what the Our Father is about. May your kingdom be established in me on earth as it is in heaven. Participating in the prime act of God, the single point of God. That's what Jesus teaches Louisa. Wait till you get into that. It's like, it's, you're, you're in, as St. Thomas Aquinas says, you're in that awe of God for all eternity. You're, this is, when you see, when you're in the presence of God, what we are now is children of God. What we're going to become, we, we do not know, scripture says, but we are going to become like him because we will see him as he is. That's going to be the awe of God for all eternity. We're going we're gonna to be so astonished, so overwhelmed, as Louisa says, confused, 
oh, wow, well, this is just so amazing. This, that's our God for all eternity. God is going to reveal to his children who he is and who we are. He says, this is the greatest thing that I could give to humanity, who I am and who you are. So he says, therefore, he says, um, be attentive. Again, I read be attentive as read. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. Listen to what I've told no saint because it wasn't time to give this. And he says that to Lisa. I've, now, I've, I've explained this to no one. He says, my mother knew it. She lived it. But you're the first human born of her original sin who has received this gift. This is, has nothing to do with what Jesus said. Uh, it's nothing new of redemption, the kingdom of redemption. This is about sanctification because it's not new at all. It's the oldest gift that God gave to Adam. And he says, be attentive and do not want to waste time with doubts and uncertainties. It's fiat. Everything is fiat. Everything that I, Jesus, have told you for this mission was necessary. This is for our understanding, too. Everything that he tells Louisa is necessary for us to begin to live this. He says, because it was not for you, but it was for the honor, the glory, the knowledge, and the sanctity of my divine will and of its dominion in the creatures. Think of when you heard of dominion before. Like in, uh, I'd say, election booths. See, the, 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 the evil one loves to mimic God. The flames of hell mimic the light of heaven. Dominion. Jesus says, I'll show you dominion. It's, my, it's the sanctity of my, my divine will, the knowledge of the divine will in the soul. It's the glory. It's the honor that God is going to give. We are going to give to God and God is going to share with us. He says, and since my will is one and was able to uh, be uh, the creature, uh, give to Louisa, to whom I, Jesus, had to entrust it to through whom the divine will would make its rays of, of blaze uh, given to the good of all of humanity. Uh, what I breathed into you, Louisa, basically, the sanctity of my divine will, that it will have its dominion in humanity. He says, my divine will is one, and one was to be the creature, Louisa, this oneness with Jesus and Mary. He says, uh, I had to entrust this divine will to you, Louisa, to a human born of original sin. I had to choose somebody, Jesus said, and I chose you. And through whom you, Louisa, you would make these rays of, of light, of life, of love be given to all of humanity. It was necessary that I teach you. It was necessary that you stayed in bed for 70 years writing everything that I've told you for humanity to read for humanity to embrace, for humanity to possess. He says this, so this dominion that I breathe into Adam will now be given to all of humanity, but even more than what I gave to Adam. It's what Jesus and Mary did on Calvary, the, the redemption of humanity. It's, it's, it's a double whammy, if you want to say, what God gave to Adam and what Jesus and Mary, the new Adam, gave uh, uh, to humanity, this, this abundant life, this abundant life, this abundant love. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus's name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray for the healing, divine healing of all the little children, the holy divine will, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.